The South Maitland Railways Depot is close by Maitland, at the East Greeter Junction. Named not for its geographical location, but rather after the East Greeter Coal Company, which operated the privately owned line prior to 1918. The line, in fact, precedes even the 70-year-old locomotives that run on it. The complex dates back to the last century. And this scene has hardly changed since then, as crews check, oil, grease, and tinker with their machines before signing out for the day. Built in Manchester by Bayer and Peacock, these 10-class engines were always considered well ahead of their time, and they were held in high regard by old-time engineers. Justifiably so, it seems, because few of today's diesel locos are likely to be good for a hard day's work in 70 years' time. back in time is the loco workshop at East Greeter Junction, where old hand skills survive and work proceeds at a pace and with a patience of another era. Its Victorian architecture notwithstanding, the old workshop is productive. In spite of its seemingly antiquated machinery, it's probably better suited to maintaining steam locomotives than any other workshop in Australia. And for the time being at least, the workshop will continue, maintaining a few engines used in a small operation on the Richmond Vale line at Hexham. On average, the 10-class locos were given a major overhaul every 130,000 kilometres. And as spares became harder to get, more parts were made in the workshop. And ingenuity became more important. Some parts were adapted from New South Wales government D50-class engines. Surprisingly, as late as 1952, Bayer and Peacock quoted on supplying a brand new 10-class engine. It would have taken two years to build and cost $48,000 at the time. The cost of the first 10-class engine delivered was about $12,000. Critical to keeping steam engines going is boiler maintenance and renewal about every 20 years or so. Some boilers have been built in the East Greeter workshop and an age-old technique is still used to make the stays which support the boiler inside the firebox. Every one of the 250 crown stays replaced at a rebuild is hand forged from a solid billet. That's right, out of the uh... You say two and an eighth round, first up you've, you've got to put a hexagon on it and then you more or less use another tool and you tie, you follow it in there and then draw the whole lot out to the size on the end and then you pull her in again there and you draw this out between one with a taper tool here and then a, a straight tool on the end. Forging art which Morris Moss makes sound so simple will eventually go the way of steam. For once the workshop had a line of glowing forges. Now just one is left to roar. The others have long grown cold as undisturbed dust and cobwebs settle on the smithy's handmade tools of trade. Tonight, 